Hello everyone, welcome back to Heart of Iron. Yes, the German campaign. Another campaign that's going well. <laughs> oh dear me, never mind. Anyway, so you can see here the campaign of the Germs. And uh, we can just go into, go into political map mode. So you can see that essentially Germany's doing okay. Um, we're still dealing with where's it gone the Danes wherever the hell they are here we go so we're still dealing with these buggers we're starting to push them back um, the problem that we're going to have is that the non-aggression pact expires on August the 4th 1944 oh no no in fact no the um, the Russian the Russian uh, thing has already expired so it could be interesting to see what happens so what we're going to do is look at the politics sorry we're going to look at Diplo and let's see Comintern Soviet Union see right now see they're saying it's an impossible situation uh. See, this is non aggression pact. Yeah, we'll try it. What the hell? We've got nothing to lose right now. So, let's just speed that up. Oh, and see what happens. Now, Oh, look at all this, see. This is, this is more drawing by me. Just showing you the various plans and all that kind of stuff. But really, most of our focus has gone on here. Excellent. Switzerland. Allying themselves to the Axis. Now, pretty much most of our focus has been going on here. Because if we look at the uh, production section... You can see production is continuing apace. So we're building plenty of building of rockets as well and stuff like that. But uh, a combination of all sorts of forces across the board. So we'll just ramp those up a little bit as well. Whoops, what was that? Oh, that was the, uh, yeah, the lead lease. That doesn't matter. Oh, nukes. So. Anyway, we continue, and hopefully we can deal with this problem in Denmark before the Russians decide to get involved. So, units in poor supply, okay, and there we go. The non-aggression pact with Vichy France may be broken now. Right, let's see. The Battle of Heidi. So let's have a look. Is that there? Yes, it is. So you can see now the Swedes are moving in with significant numbers. So, if we... No, we can't use any of them because they've all lost all their organisation. Which is a bit of a knotty one. So, let's see. What options do we have around here? Not many, that's the problem. Because I'm taking away forces from the from one section to move them to another section. And that's where the problem starts to occur. And so, what I'm trying to do is com sort of contain these guys here. So sort of attacking those guys. You see. So he's doing all right. And you see they're on 70, so they're actually doing quite well. Um, these guys aren't doing so good, as you can see. But, you know, we've got a combination of our attacks here. So what we're trying to do is get to a situation where we can start 
pushing back in there. And trying to deal some damage to the South Africans and the English who are in Denmark at the moment. So it's become a little bit of a stalemate situation, really. Um, that's, that's what we're looking at at the moment. Hmm. So what we're trying to do is sort of contain these guys, really. Because until we can contain them and push them back, we're going to be in trouble. And they've got significant numbers of horses. I think it's fair to say they've got more forces than us there now, which is going to be a problem. Because now, it means I'm starting to run on, down on forces. Oh, we're going to have the Vestas and the Tirpitz ready soon, which is good. But, let's see. See, there's the 9th Army, the Army Corps, and the Army Group. And then these guys here, who are getting involved as well. Loads of HQs. Can't really do anything with those. See, so this containment here is not going too bad. I mean, you know, they've got a significant amount of troops, but they're all pretty much broken. Um, we're going to have to. Where did my. these guys in there I think are they all HQs yes they are okay right so there's the carrier air group it's gonna go on to the aircraft carrier when it arrives so See, look, all these troops here. You've got to leave that guy there. Maybe. No. 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 Nope, can't get any of them to attack. Which is slightly annoying. So uh, they obviously can't attack because there's too many things going on right now. Which is understandable. So, let's see. Let's have a look at production. So you can see here some more infantry coming out. Lots more stuff coming out. <coughs> and also... All good. Anti-tank barrels. Wonderful. Good nose. Good nose indeed. Now, let's have a look at our infantry settings. Let's see, engineer brigade created. And assault barrels. Assault weapons. Let's put them up there because that will help the overall strength and effectiveness of those guys. And bridging equipment as well. Okay. There we go. More anti-tank barrel improvements. Excellent. We have more troops. Another infantry division. Which can go here. Now he'll obviously be no on organization for the time being, but we'll hopefully we'll be able to move him. Because it's across water. 
That's why he's not playing ball. Right. Oops. Let's get rid of some of these off this selection list. And just get them to attack. There we go. Should make things a little bit easier, maybe. Hmm. So these guys starting to back up a little bit. We've lost the battle of Numenunster. Damn it. Where is Numenunster? There. Bugger. Yes, it is. Oh. Abilities in anti-tank ammunition, muzzle velocity, which basically means speed of the bullet, which is good. So that means things should hit harder, at least. Hmm. Okay. Let us bomb the shit out of those guys. There we go. Some strategic bombing going on there. All this stuff. It's the kind of thing that we're after. So to try and destroy the, the general level. So you look all this stuff here. And so if it new and that's the yeah, so that'll probably be affected at some point. Okay. Right. God it's so warm. So warm. Okay. So, what we need to do is consider what our next options are. We need to deal with the Mediterranean. Mm. And that's not just because it's a nice holiday destination. We have to deal with certain aspects of it, like the south of France. And, but we do have some Italian navy in the area. Let's put these guys out on patrol I think okay hmm. right let's see where's our submarines we've got two battle cruisers there yes we have So, right, so there's that one. Hmm. Right, let's see what we've got. Infantry divisions in there. Okay. I really forget to open. I did. I did forget to open the bloody window. No wonder I'm getting no fresh air in here. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, fresh air. Okay. So you can see here, the attack is continuing there. And then we need this one. Just tack in there as well. 
and then we'll need this one to attack in. No, we'll need this one. To no. Okay, attack in there. Let's see what result we get. 70, 93. It's not looking too bad. Oh, that's looking a little low. Move those guys over to there. Keep one guy back. Hmm. Interesting. So right now, there's nothing really threatening me in any aspect of the theatres except for this section in Denmark. Ooh, okay. Italy's cancelled a rare agreement, rare materials agreement, fair enough, fair doodles. Okay. So I'll move him up to there. This Battle of Heidi has been lost. Okay. So those guys have moved out. There we go. Yeah. Let's yeah, move those guys in as well. See if we can change that up a little bit. See if we can actually hold these guys back and start making a push in. See, what I'm wondering is whether or not it's worth getting an OF car carrier. And here. And go and shove him up Denmark's ass. But <clears throat> we'll have to wait and see. I have to move the fan closer. Wow. Unfortunately, it might mean that the microphone noise is a little bit louder, but it means that I'm not going to basically cook. So, let's see. I don't think there's much else I can do. Really, I've kind of reinforced everything I can. And it's all just going down in Denmark right now. Oh, crikey. Yeah. So, as you can see, we are still pushing them. So, strategic bombing. Lots of stuff going on. And that's pretty much been the episode, really. There hasn't really been much else to to, uh, to explain, except for this continual push back against the, uh, the Danes and the South Africans and the British. Um, there's not really much else I can say in this war at the moment. So let's see what's this. In, inefficient research. Submarine training research is two years ahead. Okay, all right, we'll deal with that. Okay, well, we're going to save it there because I don't think there's anything else I can do. And 
I'm continuing to just basically build up forces, do everything that I need to do in preparation for the eventual attack by the Russians, unless I can get to a situation where I can postpone that for as long as I possibly can. So we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.